Tippy time, my dammies. Today we are going to be running the Lunar Vacuum Boots through some control. We will be running a Tomb of Grace using Fireball Grenades for conversion and Empowering Rift. We will be operating the Malfeasance with Explosive Shadow Perk. Timelines Vertex with Permanently Planted Demolitionist and a Target Adjuster. Tarantula with Moving Target Kill Clip. Kill Clip is necessary, Target Adjuster is. We will be running Hands On Mod for the Slaps and uh, Hand Cannon Targeting. Focusing Strike and High Energy Fire. Unflinching Fusion Rifle and Radiant Light for some extra strength. Fusion Rifle Scavengers for both my Fusion Rifles and Invigoration and Distribution with Quick Charge Mod. This is going to boost our ready speed for our Fusion Rifles. We're going to be running a bit of strength, mainly recovery, touch and mobility. Anyway guys, let's go paint the town red inside us and control. Baby duck, I am coming back for you. Where are you, baby duck? I'm gonna find you. Hey, baby duck, baby dead. You gonna hide behind that shelf? My boys are gonna get you. They won't get you. They got you. Boy, am I gonna bury those slugs in you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna call me Lord Slug? Don't you dare call me King Piccolo. Pia, 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 pia. Get slugged. Looks like it's time to get rid of you. I will be right with you and let me just take my sim to a bean and then slug all over your faces.
that's right. I'm gonna land you all day with my mouthpieces. All day. All day. The day is never ending. Night time. All day. You want to escape? Well, you actually escaped. Oh, hammers. You gonna go night, night. All day. Guys, should we break this build down? The lunar factions make your DPS machine inside of the crucible. Alchemic etchings is the perk that comes equipped on these things. Your rifts gain additional ability to increase the weapon reload speeds. Empowering rifts make your weapons more effective at longer ranges. This works wonders for weapons like Ariana's Bow, 120 hand cannons and high impact snipers for the one shot body shots. The reload is nice. This feels similar to Outlaw, perhaps a smidge slower, but uh, still lightning quick. I believe this also works with the reloading of your arrows in your bow, but not the actual knock of it. Being a rift based build, you're going to want either double utility kickstart or distribution in your class item. If you have a stasis elemented class item, I would use that as I would find the utility is a little bit better for empowering rifts and distribution is a little bit better for healing rifts. These boots boost the range of your weapons and I'm obviously not going to go over every archetype and tell you how much they do but I think it was personally made for fusions. Whether it's that titan beelining straight at you from 50 meters out, shotgun in hand or sliding up under your skirt, the empower lunar combo is just insane. Much like the stag lock combo, you're going to want to position yourself in choke points and key locations. A Terminate Grace slash Middle Tree Dawn is an excellent support role in perfect combination with these Lunar Faction Boots. Evelyn Dawn is going to grant you grenade, melee and rift energy every time you heal or empower someone. This works if they come into your rift or if you can boot your grenade with Divine Protection, this heals and overshields. This pairs perfectly with the Empowering Rift turning you into a literal tank. Other classes like the Voluntary Stormcaller with um, its perk electrostatic surge or a devour lock which also um, gives you heals whilst you kill in your empower up. These also work but personally I find the achievement of grace is the best fit. It's also worth noting in the sandbox that you're pretty much always going to have two supers with this class and if the stars align you cap enough zones, you kill enough guardians and you grab a few orbs you'll have three in a control game. The Malfeasance has never been meta, and let's be honest, it's never really been any good, but it's always been one of my favourite exotics in the game. I love its story, its looks, its perks, its mag size, Taken Predator, it's just awesome. The only bad thing about it is just about weak source. But now with this build, we can take full advantage of all its shortfalls. During the release of the 30th anniversary, it got a 50% explosion damage buff. Being a 180 RPM, it does 58 for a crit, 39 for a body, and 45 for a detonation. It has a TTK of 1 second, that's with 3 crits and 1 body. And a body shot TTK of 1.33 with 5 body shots. Due to the explosion buff, upon their death they're going to explode 225 damage, destroying any full health guardian who is unlucky enough to stand close by. This explosion will also destroy all roaming supers with 5 body shots. And with this gun's hip fire grip and massive stability stats, there won't be any problem at all. On top of that, hip fire grip is getting yet another buff in Witch Queen, so it will be even better again. I am so so happy I can finally enjoy this thing without just giving the other team a win. And I might be a little biased, but I think this gun has some of the coolest ornaments in the game. The Timelines Vertex, the old FWC fusion rifle. 
one of the things that makes this fusion rifle in particular so great is that it comes with a long range scope like Impulse MS3. I believe it to be the only non sunset fusion rifle currently in the game that has this. The more zoom you have, the more range you have. I'm hoping during the Witch Queen they add this stat to the weapons in game so I don't have to constantly go to light GG to check this. This will push this adapter frame out to precision frame ranges, your main ingredients, your plug ones. I've gotten a handful of kills at 50 plus ranges with this thing. However today I am using the torch sight, not the impulse sight, as I want a little bit of close range as well. Firmly planted on this fusion rifle and more importantly for this build is amazing. Just sit my ass down in the rift and increased accuracy, stability and handling. It's awesome. This essentially gives me a tighter cone on my bolts and make for those silly long range kills. And because this perk makes the fusion rifle feel so good, I can run Demolitionist. This is great for any class of course, but I feel it fits well with the well warlock as I'm constantly throwing grenades with the help of this thing. And yes, converting your grenades into healing grenades does reload this weapon. I am running a targeting mod on this weapon as I find it hard to justify that on my helmet being that I'm already running a hand cannon and the uh, targeting for the fusion is four. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed making it. To be tired till next time and see you on the other side. Yay!